The SD80 Mac is a 5,000 horsepower diesel electric locomotive. The model uses a 20-cylinder version of EMD's 710G Prime Mover and is the first diesel locomotive to use a 20-cylinder engine since EMD's SD45 and SD45-2 of the 1960s and 70s. The SD45 actually proved to be a quite successful model for EMD despite the fact that early examples of the locomotive had reliability issues with crankshaft snapping while in operation. Once those problems were corrected by redesigning the locomotive's engine block, the SD45 proved to be a reliable and powerful locomotive that can still be found in use in one configuration or another all across the country today. The 80s introduced a wider radiator housing similar to that of GE locomotives dating back to the 1970s and their Dash 7 line and the placement of the dynamic brakes was at the rear of the locomotive. This is a quieter location and these features were incorporated into the SD90 Mac and the SD70 ACE models. The key spotting differences between the SD80 Mac and SD90 Mac include no external rear sandbox on the SD90 Mac, rear number boards, and the placement of the front number boards above the cab windows on the SD80 Mac and on the nose of most SD90 Macs. The SD80 Mac also had the recessed red marker lights in the nose, which was an identifying feature unique to Conrail locomotives, although Norfolk Southern removed the lights from most of the former Conrail engines. The SD80 Mac was essentially an identical sister to the successful SD70 line except for its increased horsepower, much longer than any single locomotive EMD had ever produced before aside from its experimental DD series. The model did have some noticeable design changes from the SD70 series aside from its increased length. While other railroads would take orders for the SD80 Mac, only Conrail actually purchased any units taking delivery of its fleet in the mid 1990s. Rail fans have come to refer to the locomotives as the Conrail Cadillacs, and after the railroad was split between CSX Transportation and Norfolk Southern, the units were divided between the two companies. NS operated all of its SD80 Max, while CSX had leased out many of its units to the Ferromax. The 80s were built in the 90s, 1995 to be specific, and Conrail took delivery of all 30 of them that were produced. Its prime mover is a variant of the engine that was used in the SD70 series, the model 710G3ES. In many ways, the 80s were a continuation of the high horsepower race between GE and EMD that had been ongoing since the 1970s. This race peaked during the 1990s with EMD's SD90 Mac and GE's AC6000CW. And while GE's model sold more units than EMD, both were plagued with reliability issues which essentially ended the race between the two companies. Additionally, railroads discovered that extremely powerful locomotives wasn't necessarily a good thing at the time and the generally accepted horsepower was, and still is today, somewhere between 4,000 to 4,500 horsepower. The MAC or MAC designation of the SD80 means two different things. The M regards the locomotive as featuring the now standard wide safety cab that has been a common feature on motive power since the FRA mandated its use back in the early 1990s. Also, the AC refers to the model featuring an alternator for increased tractive effort. In this case, EMD's model TA22CA8. Up to that time, the SD80 Mac offered some of the highest tractive efforts of any locomotive the company had ever produced. 185,000 pounds starting and 137,000 pounds continuous. Interestingly enough, the Chicago and Northwestern as well as the Canadian Pacific was interested in purchasing new SD80 Max to further update its motor power fleet but was acquired by Union Pacific before being able to do so and its order was cancelled. The Canadian Pacific just chose to buy the SD90s instead. Additionally, Conrail was after more units as well, planning on acquiring up to 120 until the 1999 NSCSX split also canceled those orders. But its new owners changed the orders to SD70s and SD70 Max, all of which would be built at the Altoona Juniata shops. The 28 production units that Conrail acquired were also completed, tested, and painted at the former Pennsylvania Railroad shops in Altoona. The other two units rostered by Conrail were EMD demonstrator units that were purchased outright and built in London, Ontario. 
Many consider the SD80 Mac to be the last new locomotive Conrail purchased as a truly independent railroad. In the split of Conrail, Norfolk Southern had received 17 units that were numbered 7200 through 7216, while the CSX got 13. 800 through 812 being renumbered to 4590 through 4602. The former Conrail units were the first AC traction locomotives that were owned by the Norfolk Southern with the railroad not ordering more until 2008 with an order of General Electric's ES44 AC. In 2009, NS7205, the final SD80 Mac in Conrail's blue paint scheme, formerly Conrail number 4109, was repainted to Norfolk Southern's black. After that, no other SD80 mechs remained in a Conrail color scheme. Valet Mining of Brazil ordered a set of seven updated locomotives that were designated as the SD80 ACE model. These locomotives feature Tier 1 compliant 20-cylinder 710G3C engines. The design was for export only, and these specific locomotives run on Valet Mining's 5-foot 3-inch broad gauge trackage. In January 2014, CSX 4594, formerly CSX 804 and built as Conrail number 4110, was scrapped after being used as a parts donor following a derailment in early 2009. This makes it the first and only SD80 Mac that was scrapped up to that point. In late 2014, Norfolk Southern announced that they had reached an agreement with CSX Transportation to trade EMD SD40-2 units for CSX's remaining 12 SD80 Max, leaving NS as the model's sole operator. Norfolk Southern used the 12 SD80s to supplement its existing fleet in unit train coal service and the trade was finalized in March 2015. Norfolk Southern numbered the now ex-CSX units 7217-7228, which align these units with the existing SD80 Max on the NS system. While Norfolk Southern removed the market lights from the 17 SD80 Max they acquired during the Conrail split, CSX did not remove them from their 12 units. When Norfolk Southern acquired the CSX 80 Max, they removed the red market lights from those units. In 2017, Norfolk Southern was planning to rebuild all 29 SD80 Max into SD80 ACUs after the 110 SD90 Max were finished being rebuilt as SD70 ACUs. But alas, in 2020, on the cusp of full-blown PSR on NS, all 29 were retired. Six units were sold to the Canadian Pacific Railway as part sources for the recent EMD SD70 ACU rebuilds. The remainder went to the Progress Rail and were scrapped. To date, the Conrail Historical Society has been in contact with the Canadian Pacific to hopefully set one SD80 Mac aside for preservation after failing to make an agreement with Progress Rail.